Hello and welcome to another episode of Our Crazy Life. Our Crazy Life. I got something to ask you. I got a question to ask you. Are you over? Are you are you not stressed anymore about the Games of Thrones finale? I don't watch it. You don't, you don't, it. You don't watch it? Nope. No? So you're not, you're not angry and upset? Uh-huh. No. No? No. <laughs> I like, never... I have, like the rest of the world. I have never watched a single episode. You watched five minutes of it. Ah, capiche. You're too, right. You I did. It got too violent and you didn't like it. Was that the reason? Uh, there was something about it. It was scary. Oh, I think it was when it was scary with the ghosts and everything. Because I get, I get bad dreams and then I won't be able to go to sleep. I already have difficulty as it is to sleep, so I don't need to watch anything that's going to make it difficult. So you weren't like the rest of the world. No, I wasn't like the rest of the world. Oh. No. But you know what I'm really excited about? What? Can I talk about it here? Sure. I saw the trailer for Downton Abbey. Now, were they in the trailer? Were they, was it up like a horse-drawn trailer or was it driven by a car Oh, or a truck? my gosh. I don't think September 20th. Well, first of all, I love September because it goes into fall colors. I love fall colors. And then you can Plus, it, you get it real summer. It's, just, uh, it's summer here right now. Oh, we're dying. Because we're trying not to go without air conditioning because we just don't want a $400 electric bill. Yeah, we're trying to... Yeah. So, yeah. And yeah. Uh, so... <laughs> Anyway, we should have done this when we were young and it wouldn't have bothered us as much when you get older. I don't, I don't think the heat is, feels as good. Oh, whatever. Go back to Downton Abbey and your trailer. Uh, anyway. As it drove by. Oh, I'm so excited. How about all you people? I bet you're as excited as I am. So what do you... I, I didn't realize it's an actual movie. Hello? I mean, I thought it was a made-for-TV movie. Hello? It's in theaters. Oh, well. Well, we should we get dressed up? Wear like a tux and a dress? I don't know. <laughs> I want to go like to one of those things that like, they have like one of those premieres or something like that that you can get all like dazzed up. I've always wanted to go to the Downton Abbey exhibitions, exhibitions, exhibits, Ex- exhibits. Thank you, um, but I haven't I haven't had an opportunity to do that. Um, I wanted to go last year when we were going up to New York for Alex's baptism. We were like, "There's no way we could do it because we went like upstate." Yeah, we, 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 we didn't have the time. Yeah, it was didn't have a roundabout. Time. We're up. We're back. We're yeah. up. We're back. Anyway, so but we, I'm very we didn't excited. have a trailer. I'm too excited. Also, you want you some of you may not think that I would be into it, but I'm also excited about Deadwood. Yes, Deadwood is coming back. And it's yes. not for everybody. No, it isn't. When I first, when you guys, you and Jay, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. When you and Jay first start watching it, I was appalled. The language. The language and the way they treated women. I said, well, unfortunately, that's the way it was back then. And, you know, as, as sad as it is, that's just the way it was. Yeah, I was very upset when you all watched it. I used to make little comments um, and stuff like that. Then you fell in love with Timothy Oliphant. Oh, my God. Yesterday, we were we watching it so that we could be ready for the um, HBO movie on the 31st, right? 31st. And anyway, I'm a little. So, wor- I, I hate to interrupt you, but I'm a little worried. I don't want it to be like, oh, can't when waiting like ten year, thirteen years for this to happen, and it, right. and it's terrible. But well, just to see the characters would be fun. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I but last night we were rewatching we season one. I can't remember which episode we were on five or it was, six. It was the one where he was coming out. He was chasing after. I don't know. He, well, no, he just caught McCall. He came back. This is the second one. I think it was six episode six. Um, the language is really bad. But anyway. He came across, I'm like, oh my gosh, hello, good <laughs> even, looking. Even with a scar right there? Uh, he could, yeah, he can have scars. Anyway, so you got really into Deadwood. Yes, so which you, is surprising when so I was you can't so... Wait for the, so we'll probably, what we should do is do watch it and then do a review. Oh, okay. For the people that watch Deadwood. All right, that'd be fun. We'll do that for like maybe our crazy life, because next week, next our plans this week, we're actually going on a date. Woo! We we're planning going on to see a date. Rock, we're going to go see Rocket Man. Rocket Man, yes. Because... It's funny shows every week. You want to go to the movies? Sure. Yeah, you do say yes every week. What's out there? Nothing. Yeah, every, and then I go look at the thing. I'm like, eh. well, first of all, I'm gonna do a game of I should say I should say there's nothing out there because there's lots of movies that Jack would like to see, like Avenger, what's that? Avengers and Game is that what's called? In Game and stuff. Anyway, but I know you don't like it. So. I don't like it. So there, there. We need we need to rephrase that. There wasn't movies that you and I both could watch together. Right. Like, there was movies that I saw that I would love to see. There was movies that I think you would have loved to see. But for together, for us to go, it wasn't like we needed to go. Because the movies today are more geared towards the younger audience, I think. The younger crowd. Really? You think we're old? Uh, yes. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> but no, I, so we're, we're going to go see Rocket Man. Yes. Elton John's biography, I guess. Or yeah, something about, like that. about Elton John. And we'll give a review on that on next week's Our Crazy Life. That's pretty yes. exciting. I am very excited. Best part is because we're on a date. Yeah, date, 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 date. Anyway, so uh, what else has been going on in your life? Well, we went to uh, Zach's T-Ball games, oh, which are always so much fun to go. He, it was hot. Oh, my gosh. It was it so was, hot. It was like 95, 96 but degrees. he is really hitting well. Yes. Like, every time we've gone, you could just see the improvement of him his hitting. It's funny, though, when they're, when they're during practice. They have a half-hour practice. practice. We're talking about practice. They have a half hour practice and a half hour game. His so hour total. So his game. So his, during his game, he doesn't hit the ball very well. 
No, he had no, no, he didn't no, really no well. during practice. He practice, you said game. Okay. During the practice, during the, the game, ball. it's like smack, smack, yeah. smack. He did now, two really good he, hits. He was a little, a little uh, tired or a little lackadaisical. He wasn't really ener- energized in it. But one of the other kids on the team, he stopped the ball, and the kid comes up and goes fist bump, fist bump. And so after that, he was like, he was like. Uh, well, he played. He was in. in the, they do different positions, so he was in the pitcher position. Right. So he got to stop. He stopped the balls a couple times. Yeah, but he was, he, really was well. he was like going out. He was like knocking kids out of the way to get the ball. Yes, he <laughs> was. I think it was excited the ball was actually coming to him, and it made him. No, it was a fist bump. He got oh, is that what it was? Okay. Because when you watch it, I think it's so up. funny. It's kind of like when hockey was like when four or five year olds play hockey, they all just go where the puck yeah. goes, and they just kind of like just go like that. Well, that's how t-ball is. They all go like wherever the ball is. You got the whole little. Was like, it like was it, it like four or five kids only it's like playing? Five, five or six kids. So they just all. It's, it's it's what's well, like t-ball, you know, soccer. It's just like anytime the younger kids do it, it's like it's just a swarm yeah. where they're all just going like this. <laughs> it's so cute. Like, and it's, they all run for the ball. Yes. They all dive on it. They yes. all fall on each other to get the ball. It's yeah, funny. it's really cute. But we, we enjoy because, you know, we enjoy because Zach is a really good runner. Um, and he runs the base as well, not yes, like your, our poor son who we like to he make did, fun of. He did skip third base last week. He did. That was Jay's fault, though. Jay was <laughs> rolling him in, and he's totally skipped the third base. But that's okay. We still, we it, still cheered. It was fun. It was, yeah. he, and he was, he was getting lots of water, so he was hydrated. Yes, he was. I was watching the helicopter mom on the other field. Yes, she was out there, wasn't she? She literally was standing behind her son when he was playing his position. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Not here to judge. But no, we're not here to judge. She's not on our team. Yeah. If I would have done that, you would have pulled me back. You would have said something to me. You I would have told me aside. I, I would have said, hey, I said, hey, Sid. come on. Come on. You're embarrassing the kid. I remember the time when Jay, Jay always played the outfield because he was a Tony Gwynn fan. So he loves playing Tony Gwynn's position, which was left field, right? Right field. Right field. Right field. I always get confused, but anyway, it's my right. Um, so one time they brought him in to pay third base. I was an absolute nervous wreck. First of all, it was a pretty competitive team. Jay always seemed to get on the great, these great teams because he was a phenomenal hitter. He had a good eye for the ball. Um, but the rest of his skills were not what I would say. Well, he didn't work at. No, he could have been, but he didn't work at. Um, but anyway, it so, wasn't his thing. Oh, I just remember those couple innings of him playing third base. I was, I thought I was going to throw up. I, I was getting so emotionally upset and concerned for him that I wanted him to be so successful. I thought I was going to throw up. I said the odds of him getting killed are. are no, it wasn't missed. that. I wanted him to do well. I didn't want like <laughs> the parents to be like, "It's like I'm so glad he never became a pitcher because I couldn't handle that position." Because you got to listen, like the goalies of hockey people or the quarterback, you know, they're, you know, like they're the center of attention and they don't do well. You know, people are going to criticize well, parents, them. parents don't hesitate. I've, yeah. I can remember refereeing and, and you sit there and hear these parents, you're like going, come these on. These are kids out there. There's kids And out. I just knew as the kind of parent I was, I would have opened my mouth and gotten a fight. So I, I was nervous for our son, but he did well and he did a, he did a great job. And it, so it, It's sad that parents act that way. It is sad. I mean, I... I know you're into the game, but if you if you are one of those parents, and just say, Stop rem- it. Re- remember that there are other parents, and the kids can hear you. You're saying that, and they're, they're trying. No, we're not like where well, everybody should get a trophy kind of. Parent. No, 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 we're no, not that. Not that. But we're just saying they are kids. It's not the NHL or the M- or it's the not Stanley Cup by or ESPN. the or the whatever. What is it? Um, World I'm, Series. World Series. These are kids are learning how to play, and and they. I'm sure they have their they're nervous too, so they don't yeah. need to hear other parents telling them. And a lot of times too, when people are blaming the goalie, let's just say hockey, they're blaming the goalie. Well, there's five other players on the ice. They could have done something, you know. Like the defensive guys. Yeah, defense. Maybe they messed a man. Or it's it's a whole it's a team game. So it's not just the goalie; it's the rest of the team. Or same thing with soccer. Same thing with you know football. The quarterback throws the ball. Kid can catch the ball. Anyway, it's a team sport. So. Just remember, be nice, be yes. kind. Remember, yeah. they're just humans. Yes. Do you have anything that you'd like to add? I did want to say something. I, I we have this neighbor, and I, I don't know her name, and uh, I've, I've I've never spoken to her. Oh, I've spoken to her, but I've told you about her. Yeah. I take Ava on her walks, and, and Ava keeps me with her. I keep upright with her, uh, her, uh, her, stroller. her stroller. And uh, so anyway, so we're, this lady about about three weeks ago, she comes. She has lives at the other end. Of, she's at the on our side of the street at the other end. So it's it's like 20 houses away. So right. we've never had any interaction with her. So she comes out and I go, oh, hello. And she goes, <laughs> I go, all right, maybe I said something wrong. So came back. I said, hello. <laughs> so the other day she's walking. Right. And she's we're walking by the lake. She's coming back towards home. I'm going towards the... The little uh, Lake. gazebo where they have right. where I take Ava out and she can look at the turtles and the fish, and she comes up. She, I go, I'm gonna try one more time. Hello, she goes. 
and just walks down to <laughs> like that. I'm just like, a, I just speak the language. No, she just she's no. just angry. I guess hello is she, universal she, for hello. Well, anyway, I, I wave, and she just will not can't get it. So I, I'm not I'm not gonna say anything to her anymore. Okay. I'm just gonna walk. I have my sunglasses on. I'm right. just walk by her like this and right. I'm sticking my tongue at her. And, right. I mean, am I being am I being ridiculous? No, not at all. I just I don't get it. Just say, just say. Oh. Maybe she didn't hear you. Maybe she has hearing problems. I'm, I'm trying to get the way I w- I've said it like three times. She just but she has this look on her face like, get out of way from me or I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's like. Ah, ah, ah. Well, She's, I'm glad you have something to do, and I know those are hard those walks with her because I know your legs go numb as you're walking, and I'm. I, I, I'm at work and I have um, um, we have a camera that's in her room where she takes her naps and then I can see it it pops up and it shows me like little activities or like when you put her down or something like that and today I was watching the camera and I'm like huh because you put her in your room where the fish tank is yeah. and it's cooler in that room and you bring the air conditioner and then we have like little portable air conditioners that we can wheel around and uh, so it gives her opportunity and she's just blabbing away blabbing away and I'm like now I know you have my iPads and you can see her going yeah. on. So I'm I'm getting worried. I'm at work and I'm wondering <laughs> where is my husband. So I'm like, that's only been a couple minutes. No big deal. So I go back. I'm working on the schedule because I do the schedule for where I work for the employees. And I a couple minutes later I go check again. No check. He was still sitting there. She's having a blast. She's playing with her feet. She's talking to the fish. She's having a whole conversation. She does talk. She loves to talk. Yeah, to the she's fish. talking away to the fish, and I'm thinking, oh, he'll hear that soon. And she probably thinks the fish because we have this huge goldfish. You do. And the goldfish goes. She probably does think it's talking. She to probably her. thinks it's talking yeah. back to her. Anyway, so Mr. I want to say Lucas, it's a good Lucas. 15, 20 minutes. She's never crying. So finally, she gets a little antsy. You're still not going up. So I'm thinking my husband's dead. He's dead. It's a possibility. He's dead. And, I, and I'm at work, and all these things are going through my head. Well, what if he is dead? What's going to happen? Well, I have to How clock am I gonna out. Am I going to lose hours? <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, geez, that's you know, what do I do? So finally, I'm like, I'm going to text him. So I text you, and you're like, yeah, I'm, up, I'm going upstairs. I'm like, okay. Whew, oh, I was already upstairs. Alive. Oh, were you already upstairs? I was, I was sleeping. I didn't go back on. I just conked out and went to bed. I, mean, I was out. So I didn't sleep well last night. No, I know you didn't. And, uh, so anyway, that, then we went on our walk after. Yes. But then I always wait for you to text me back when you get back because I say text me when you get back because I'm thinking, God, I hope it doesn't okay, pass mom. out. <laughs> well, no, because you have a lot of health issues and, you know, you're important to me, but my granddaughter's more important. <laughs> well, that's what keeps me from falling down. Is that what it does? If but I, you, I, can't, I, you can't stop yourself. Oh, I can't. I guess you can because I remember one time my grandmother, we were going to go see my grandfather who had cancer in a hospital. And I remember I had my grandma and we were going to... more cherry stories? No. And uh, we were going to um, take her to go see her husband, my grandfather. And she was starting to fade. And I'm freaking out because I don't like doing all this stuff like this. No, I'm like, I'm like 20 at the time. You're not so good under pressure. I am far worse than I am now. I'm, a, I'm better with age. But at 20, I was like, no, please don't make me deal with this. I don't want to deal with this. You want me to show the video of me passing out? No. How good you were so anyway, um, so I'm trying to convince my grandma, please grab a dope faint. Please grab a dope faint. So I got her not oh, to faint. Oh, Jesus, help me. No, Jesus. <laughs> to get her not to faint. Well, that day I got in trouble by my grandfather because I took my grandmother there and she didn't get her hair done. And my grand, after my grandma walked out, my grandfather called me back into his room and said to me that he didn't want her to come again without getting her hair done and make sure I took care of her to get her hair done. So he was funny about all those little things. Yeah. He, in his world, a man took care, you know, it's old school because he was born in 1909 and she was 1905. They believe that you're, you take care of your woman, your woman should look, you know, and she always looks nice head to toe. I think that's where I got all my stuff from. Um, but anyway, I was like, okay, Grandpa, I will take care of it. I'll do so, it. I'll do it. I'll do anyway, it. so I guess you can't stop yourself. What I'm trying to say in all this. No, I, I guess you can't I, I, stop I really, yourself from I bring, painting. I bring water. I bring her apple juice. She's, she's, her cheesy puffs. What she, do you call them? Little cheesy poofs. Cheesy poofs. She has to have her, I get a little, her on her little um, seat she's sitting in, whatever. I'm throwing a blank on the stroller. Stroller. <laughs> <laughs> she has a tray there. I put her food in it. I bring extra ones because she goes through them pretty quick. Yes. She goes, <laughs> well, so does your grandson Alex. He eats them like Oh my god, mom. that kid. He loves yeah. his. He loves you know, his what kills me about him, I put it in a bowl, and what does he do? He takes the bowl and pours it and dumps it all over the floor. I go, <laughs> Why do you do that? And he looks at me and goes, and he's, he's I love it now because he can say Papa. We tell him to say Papa and Gigi, and he can say Gigi, but not always. But he does say, he said it about a month, like the beginning of May, I got him, that was that day we were working on him all day, Papa, Gigi, Papa, Gigi, and he finally said Gigi. What I, I was like, so excited. What I like is as soon as his dad leaves, he goes over to the Lazy Susan and starts pushing on it because he knows that's where the cheesy, cheesy poos, poos are. Because <laughs> he doesn't do it when his dad's here. Right. Because the dad was like... Well, no, they're the, they're the little Gerber ones. They're not like... No, They're no. still better than the 
like cheese. Pops. But they're 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 a snack. They're not. It's a, yeah, they're not because you know Jay would be like. Alex, you don't need to eat those yet. So I always say, Does he, has he had breakfast yet? He had something this morning. I said, okay. So when he goes yeah, over there, I, I give him some cheesy boosts, and then I feed him his, his breakfast right. after. So, But he has the cheesy poo. I guess the word's out now. The cheesy poos are for his breakfast. Because he holds over there, and he wants the yeah, cheesy poos. Yeah, you can't poos. say no, because you're his papa. I, I don't have to say no. No, you don't. I, I don't have to, and no. I won't. And you won't. Uh-huh. But that, I think that's all we got this week. Yeah, I think so, too. I think it's a good week. You know, life is uh, okay, right? Life is going good. Hope everything's going well for you guys, and you're doing well. We've tried a new location. Yeah, we. I just didn't like the way the other one looked. So let us know if you guys think this is a, the lighting is better. I don't know if that bright the window up there. Oh, I keep forgetting about that window. It gives me a halo effect. Oh, but you are, a, you are my angel. <laughs> no? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> that's abuse. I know. Anyway, that's all we got. We'll be back next week. And next we'll be reviewing our Rocket Man movie that Rocket week. Man. Hopefully, shows someone doesn't back out on me. Now, why would I back out? I don't know. Okay. You get a little funny. Anyway, have a great week. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. We always forget to stop saying that in the beginning. If you guys can subscribe at the button down and below. we appreciate everyone who keeps sharing yep. it. Telling Thank a friend. Thank you. And give some thumbs liking, up. And liking. Thumbs up. Hey. Yeah, like I said before, there's no, you're not putting any kind of list. There's no emails or like that that you have to do. You're not putting anything. It's just, it just helps us try to grow what we're trying to do for our channel and grow our channel. So that's why we need you to like it and subscribe, please. Yes. Have a great week. See you. Oh, and it's 4th of July. I know, 4th of July. Memorial weekend this weekend. So I have, hope you have a good weekend. Barbecue, some hot dogs, hamburgers. Maybe go swimming. Spend some time with your family. Enjoy life. Have some tacos. Tacos. There you go. I love tacos. Oh, you do love tacos. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.